If you've clicked on this, I'm sure you've experienced the same thing I have, which is spending too much money on certain items that you've never gotten the full use out of. I've truly learned that knowing which fashion pieces to invest in and what to save on is a critical step in creating a lasting wardrobe that's both unique and stylish without breaking the bank. In this video, I'm going to share with you which wardrobe categories I think you should spend a little bit more on or less on and why based on my experience. Now, depending on which climate you live in, what you do for work, what your style is, your specific list of items to spend and save on is gonna vary a little bit from mine. Make sure you watch all the way through to get the full picture of how to apply this list to your closet. I recommend spending more on your sunglasses because not only does it make a great impact, on your style and it's something that you'll use all the time. But it's important that you have 100% UVA and UVB protection within your sunglasses to prevent any eye health issues such as ocular melanoma or cataracts. Polarized sunglasses also tend to be more expensive, but they're effective in preventing you from squinting too much which is caused from the sun's rays, ultimately preventing you from getting too many under eye wrinkles. In my early 20s, I used to buy a variety of sunglasses of different styles to match all of my different outfits, but were all of low quality. Over time, I got bored of those styles and never got the full UV protection I needed, and I was still squinting when I was using them. Right now, my sunglasses collection is made of two high quality pieces, a pair of Dior and Versace sunglasses. This pair of Dior Stronger sunglasses in rose gold was actually my most recent purchase, but was actually four years ago, and they are still very stylish and unique. The key here in making most of your investment in your sunglasses is purchase a classic pair that will last throughout time. Even better, you can invest in a unisex pair like these Ray-Bans that I have here that are actually my husband's, and I steal them from time to time. So this way you can almost double the use out of your sunglasses. Remember, the specific amount that you consider as either spending or saving will entirely depend on what your fashion budget is. Especially if you have a lower budget, make sure you prioritize which specific items that you think you should invest in first. Here on my channel, I want to help you find the best value out of items that spark a lasting joy in your life. If you are interested in more curated fashion advice like this, please subscribe and turn on the notifications for my new weekly videos. invest a bit more in jewelry that I wear every day and I try to invest primarily within fine jewelry. Fine jewelry is made from precious metals such as gold, silver, platinum, includes gems and pearls and those don't tarnish very easily. If you invest in the right jewelry pieces it can last you a lifetime and oftentimes it can also be an heirloom that you pass down to younger generations. For example this ring was passed down from my grandmother to me and has quite a bit of sentimental value. I like to invest in a small collection of rings, necklaces, and earrings. It completely depends on what you would use most throughout the day. For example, for me, I don't like using bracelets as much because I type on the computer as part of my job and it often gets in the way. And I know other occupations such as physicians, they wash their hands a lot, so they don't like wearing rings. Another popular item that people invest in are also watches. The reason why I think you can spend a bit more on watches is that not only is it practical, but if you choose the right watch to invest in, the value goes up over time. When it comes to investing in these jewelry pieces that you use every day, you have to be careful that you don't invest in items that you can easily lose. I learned the hard way that you have to pay attention to how secure the clasps are in each of your jewelry items. For example, I've bought hoop earrings at least three different times because the backings on the hoops were too loose or they had this type of structure which easily bent whenever I flicked my hair towards the back and then my hoop would become loose and I would lose them. If you are getting value out of this video, please click the like button so I know to make similar videos in the future. Fine jewelry can last you a lifetime, but you have to be sure to make sure you maintain them properly so they don't tarnish. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, I highly suggest that you save on costume jewelry because those items typically don't last because they're made of mixed metals and they often tarnish pretty easily. Costume jewelry pieces are often trendy items that actually go out of style after a couple seasons. So it's not a good idea to spend too much on that because you won't get as much use out of it as you would want to. Costume jewelry also has a tendency to have fake gems that will fall off over time. Linen is a material made of flax and is very durable and even more absorbent than cotton, which makes it very comfortable to wear, especially in hot and humid weather. I didn't start investing in linen until most recently, two to three years ago, but I've found that I've used it more than any other item that I have in the summer because of how breathable and comfortable it is. 
especially since moving down south, linen dresses have made my summers so much more comfortable and bearable. Especially if you want to get as much use out of your linen pieces as possible, try to keep them in neutral tones so you can wear them with most any outfit. This is an example of a linen dress that I purchased from Reformation and it has some beautiful detailing and structure to it. I've washed it several times with it keeping its structure beautifully. It's so durable that I've even worn this to Disney without any issues. Linen is a material that will never go out of style and it will always remain an essential in the summer months. One thing you need to keep in mind is certain linens require dry cleaning while others are okay to be washed. Right now I own two linen dresses and one linen top and eventually I want to be able to expand that. On the other hand, denim is actually an area that I'd like to save. This one time, I wanted to try out a more expensive pair, and they were about $200, $250, and they were incredibly soft and comfortable. I loved them to bits, but after only one or two months, when I bent down, it just ripped in the butt area. And to be honest, the pants were not that tight. I've actually had even tighter jeans from cheaper brands that I've purchased at $50 that have never done that. So that was very surprising. I then got it repaired and it happened again and again. So I, I completely gave up on those $200, $250 pair of jeans. <laughs> and I realized that the quality of jeans really just depends on the stitching and the fabric and the brand that you are at, but it doesn't need to be super expensive. The other reason I don't like to invest in denim is that the styles change over time. I remember when I was young, low rise jeans were in and it was high rise skinny jeans. And then now it's more so more loose jeans like mom jeans so eventually these styles will change over time so I don't find that this to be the best use of your money to elevate your closet purchasing cheaper shoes that don't have a proper fit don't have cushioned soles or might not have the arch support is definitely going to cause health problems such as plantar fasciitis as well as long-term effects such as back pain and shoulder pain once you have these health problems it is so difficult to come back from mattresses are often a place where people invest their money because that's where you sleep eight hours every day but if you think about it you're also on your feet for the rest of it so you should make sure you invest in proper comfortable well-fitted footwear that has the proper arch support and cushion sole look for shoes made with quality natural materials such as leathers i remember back when i bought my first over the knee boots I wanted to save money on them. I know the Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots were very popular, but they were so expensive. So I bought a cheaper version. I bought the Steve Madden over the knee boots that looked very similar. But you know what? After 30 minutes of wearing them, there was so much pain in my feet, I had to return them. Ultimately, if I kept them, it would have been a huge waste of money because I could only stand on my feet for 30 minutes at a time. Then I relented and bought my first Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots and they are so comfortable. I use them to commute to work in the winter every single day on the subway, and I was able to stand in those three inch, 3.5 inch heels every day and not have any pain whatsoever. Now it's important to remember, just because one brand is more expensive than another brand does not necessarily guarantee quality, although it is an indicator that it might be a better quality. So it's very important you do your research in advance to understand what makes that item a better investment. Classic bags are a great place to invest your money because it is something that you use every time that you go out. A classic bag is actually an excellent way to pull together an entire outfit, and especially when you match it with other investment pieces that you purchase, it will always make your outfit cohesive. A great quality durable bag can really make your life easier, especially when it's designed well so that you can access everything you need in the correct compartments. Now certain bags and designer brands such as Chanel and Hermes, their designer bags will actually go up in value over time and you could potentially make a profit. For me, this is an area where I tend to spend the most, but I do a lot of research into the bags that I purchase to make sure that they retain their investment value. I also tend to spend a bit more money on a quality timeless wallet as well as a card holder when I switch between bags because when it's made of really beautiful quality like the Chanel card holder that I have and use as a wallet, it will stand the test of time. 
the other hand, there are certain SLGs or small leather good items that I say either don't spend money at all on or save on. Those include key holders, which are specific types of pouches that are meant to hold your keys, keychains, passport holders, and iPhone cases. Those are all items that are not necessary for you to look stylish. For example, iPhone models now get upgraded and change shapes so often now, you'd have to replace your iPhone case every couple of years at least. I found that passport holders add more bulk than is needed and can often fit within any of your designer bags. Similarly, I feel like keychains with a lot of baubles as well as keychain holders just add additional bulk that is not needed. I would recommend investing in a quality leather belt. I've owned mine for about five years. It's the Gucci Marmont belt that I have on right now, and I only have one belt, but this belt goes with everything that I want it to. It's incredibly versatile and works with my work wardrobe as well as my casual wear. And a beautifully constructed, versatile belt can be worn in so many different ways that you get your cost per wear back. If your partner is approximately the same waist size as you, this is also an area where you can double up on being able to use it even more and share it with your partner. And that's why investing in classic designer unisex belts are actually a wonderful way of injecting a bit of designer into your wardrobe while getting as much use out of it as possible. The accessories that you should save on are the trendy pieces, such as headbands, hair elastics. Those trend pieces are very often in one season and out the next, especially when it comes to hair ties. I've seen beautiful pearl hair ties that are absolutely gorgeous, but can easily break in your hair if it's thick like mine. Especially when I used to live in Canada, it gets incredibly cold. So having a stylish, practical jacket that will keep you warm during your commute, but also look stylish year over year is really important. The outerwear, it does include quite a variety of items, such as leather jackets, trench coats, winter coats. Which specific outerwear that you invest in will vary based on your climate and your particular style. This leather jacket is a great example of such an investment. I purchased this leather jacket from Denier in Canada for about four or $500 at the time. And for me at the time, that was so expensive. But this has been over 10, 11 years now, and I've worn it every single season without fail. And it's really complemented most of my fall and spring looks. This was a lambskin leather, which is what made it so expensive, but it actually gets even softer over time when you maintain it properly. It was this beautiful art deco lining that I found made this jacket incredibly unique, which is a very cool accent piece when you take the jacket off. And if you look up close, the quality of this lambskin leather is so good, you can barely tell that I've worn it every single year for 10 to 11 years. Now I want to make sure you take your time before you buy any of these investment pieces. Make sure you choose a classic silhouette that complements your body type. I did purchase a trench coat for about $100, $150 many, many years ago, but I almost never wear it because I didn't love the style. And when it came to fall, I actually prefer leather jackets over trench coats. So that is definitely an outerwear item that I save on. I also think if you live in a colder climate, winter jackets are so essential to invest in. Natural materials like wool is so important to keep you warm and stylish over the years. And those natural materials will wear better. That's why it's important to invest in a flattering cut that not only keeps you warm, but super suits your body type as well. You need to be careful of synthetic materials in your outerwear, and that's why I don't invest, and I like to save on, faux fur. Faux fur is made of polyester and synthetic materials, so it doesn't actually keep you warm, it's only a fashion statement piece. I own two faux fur jackets, but I'm quite limited in the times that I can use it. So those ones I don't suggest you invest that much of your money in. I do think a blazer is an important item for you to invest in. Almost anyone will need to use it, whether it's for interview, for work, or even to use it to dress up a casual look. There are so many components that go into a really beautifully structured blazer that fits your body type. A classic blazer will always be timeless and is something they can use over and over again that will never go out of style. So that's why it's important to invest in one that works beautifully for your body. When buying the perfect blazer, you need to make sure you pay attention to the fabric 
fabric, make sure that it has a proper lining, and also the structure of the blazer itself to make sure that it fits your body quite well. And this is something that you also want to invest money in to get it tailored to your body perfectly. More expensive blazers are made with natural fibers like wool and are much more comfortable and gives it more structure. Underwear is definitely an area where I don't mind saving, as long as it's made of 100% cotton for breathability, and as long as it's in neutral colors, you can often get those for quite affordable prices, and it's not something that you necessarily need to splurge upon. However, bras on the other hand are something that you should invest a bit more money in, especially to make sure that you're properly fitted. Improperly fitting bras can cause a multitude of health problems, such as back pains, shoulder pains. Unfortunately, with bras, you do have to replace them every couple of years, no matter how expensive the bra you get, because the straps eventually will come looser, and you will have to replace it to keep that proper fit. If you are only to invest in one bra, make sure it's a V-neck strapless bra that has convertible straps and is also in nude material. Then it can work with any outfit. Make sure that the material is seamless so that it can go under anything, even a white t-shirt. A properly fitted bra can also make you feel more confident and make your clothes look and fit better. Now sleepwear is a category that I actually rarely spend money on at all. I will often wear any worn old t-shirts or shorts and that'll be my sleepwear or I'll even use my husband's old used t-shirts. I don't mind investing a little bit more on either lingerie or sleepwear that can actually be worn outside or in different ways. And that would include items such as a slip dress that can work both as lingerie but can also work well outside. Wool and cashmere knitwear can definitely be more expensive, but I think it's so worth it because it keeps you very warm. I find natural fiber sweaters so much more comfortable instead of synthetic sweaters, which I find turns itchy and scratchy over time. What I have next on my list for the fall and winter season is to invest in a matching wool or cashmere top and bottom that are monochromatic because I think that's a beautiful classic look. A major area where you can save money is basic tees and tank tops. Items such as t-shirts and tank tops tend to lose their shape over time and you will eventually have to replace it every couple years. I would avoid spending too much on trendy patterns. What I mean by that are typically wild color combinations or specific patterns for a season. I remember last year the Versace chain link pattern was really quite in, but this year I don't see anyone wearing it, so it would be a bad investment in my eyes. Now there are timeless patterns that you can invest in, and those include leopard print, houndstooth print, and lace. An area that I learned you definitely don't need to spend too much money is special occasion wear. And that's everything ranging from prom dresses to wedding guest dresses or ones that you wear to graduation because oftentimes those are one-time purchases that you like to wear once or twice and not over again and again. The best way you can get deals on special occasion wear is just wait for it to go on sale and make sure you plan ahead when you have an event coming up so you can make sure you buy at a lowest price. Consider renting the dresses instead if it's a one-time occasion. You can also consider purchasing separates for your special occasion wear, and that's something that you can wear every day. For example, I have a pair of high-waisted, great quality sparkly pants that I think work wonderful for special events, but it's something that I could wear on a night out with friends as well. Once you decide what items you want to spend and save on, take a look at this next playlist for some of my favorite items and my thorough in-depth reviews to help you determine your next investment decision.